Hey guys, I'm out here in my test garden testing some signals out with the legend today. And I'm hitting most of them. As you can hear. But there's one in particular as I'm going through here. Oh, that one's not hitting. What do you think that is? That is a 10 inch frag from the American Civil War artillery frag. It's iron and I can't hear anything. So I want to show you guys something that you may want to do out of the box in case you want to hear these iron tones like I do. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal channel and mentalmetaldetecting.com and today we're going to talk about the Nocta Macro Legend. Uh, it's practically brand new, I've hardly used it and I've got out here in my test garden going through some things and I noticed I didn't hear a lot of iron signals uh, on the machine and that kind of bothered me because I do like to hear the iron and so I put this out on my Patreon page and, and my patrons over there and my buddy Chris mentioned to me that the volume is turned way down on the on the uh, on the iron tones so looked up in the manual and sure enough it is turned way down so today I'm going to show you how to turn those back up so you can hear the iron signals you're going to want to hear those if you're uh, if you like to hear the iron signals like I do I like to hear them all so we're going to go through that today I'm going to show you how to do it and a couple other cool things all right so stay tuned all right, guys, so as I had this out in my test garden, I noticed I wasn't hearing any iron signals, and that was very troublesome for me. Now, since I've brought it in the house, I want to tell you that is not actually true. I just couldn't hear the iron signals outside. They were set at very, very low volumes, and I wanted to fix that. So I brought it in here and um, realized the volume settings for this machine are set really low. For instance, if you look on page 19, of your book, of your owner's manual, if you have it, there's a chart, and it's going to tell you by default the volume numbers, uh, volume levels of all of these uh, default programs, and whether you have a one tone, two tone, four tone, or six tone, or 60 tones, what the volume level is going to be. So for instance, if you look, I like to hunt in four tone in this machine. If you look at the four tone machine, four tones, You'll see Z1, Zone 1, Z2, Zone 2. That's what Z stands for. Z is 3, third one. Of, I call them tone break. So uh, tone break 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you look at tone break number 1, in park mode, it's set at 2. So it's very low. And even field is even lower. Beach is lower yet. And gold field is not even on. So zone 2 is 10, 10, 10, 10. Everything else is 10 from there. From that point forward, all the other tone breaks are set at the at the max volume at 10. So the, everything else will ring in loud. It's just that first tone break, basically your iron tone break is set really, really low. I don't like that. So I, I like to turn those things up a little bit so I can hear some of the iron. So I'm gonna show you how to walk, I'm gonna show you how to do that today, walk through the whole step, step by step process so you know uh, it's it's pretty easy to do, but you gotta know the menu system a little bit. So I'm gonna take you through. I'm also gonna go over which is very important to know, this discrimination pattern thing, it's on page 10. So it has a chart, these letters A, 6, which is actually stands for ground, F, and C. And let's just kind of walk through that real quick because by default, uh, if you watch my screen here, by default, when you turn this, the, the, the uh, heck, I want to call it the dais, when you turn the legend on, it is by default going to be in letter C for your discrimination pattern. Now C stands for basically a custom. You can set this up to be anything you want, but by default, it's going to be in custom mode. The problem is when it's in custom mode, it is, it is knocking out all the iron signals. So technically you shouldn't hear any iron. And to prove that I have a piece of horseshoe here that is iron. If I run out in front of the coil, I'm not hearing the iron, but I'm hearing the high tone of the horseshoe. Now, if you all have dug horseshoes in your life, you know that sometimes they ring up loud and proud, and that's not a good thing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get an iron nail. Let's see if I have one in here. 
I have all kinds of iron fun stuff. All right, here's a piece of iron off of a farm piece of farm equipment. So now I'm, I'm actually, this is what it looks like, by the way. Might as well just show it to you. So this is my piece of iron, solid iron. If I run it in front of the coil, I don't hear anything. I'm running it in front of the coil right now. You just can't see me doing it. Oop, there's a little bit of a chirp there. But for the most part, it knocks out the iron. All right, so that's, that's the problem with custom. It knocks it out so you can't hear it. And now you're going to have to switch back and forth through these discrimination patterns if you want to hear the iron and i have i'm going to get a little bit of emi in here by the way switch out of custom and go into all metal which is a once you go into all metal it it highlights the entire target id bar and it's all highlighted so it's actually you'll be able to hear the, those iron signals so if i run this piece of farm equipment across again now you're going to hear it now i have my iron volume turned up now and I'm going to show you how I did that. But before, I, it was way down low, and you couldn't hear it outside without headphones. And I couldn't hear it with, with what I was doing, so that was the problem. So now, how do you change the volume of your iron tones or, or any of your tones in your tone breaks? Um, it's not hard to do. It's just a little tricky. And like I said, it's on page 19. If you want to look at that page in your manual, I'll kind of walk you through it here. But to change the number of tones you want to hunt with, to change the tone volumes, um, it's all done by going into your settings menu. And that's this button right here. It's actually your power button. Just don't hold it in. You just want to click it once. And it puts you into this, this menu, which by default, you're going to be here. All right. You're going to be at the very beginning of the bar. These are all your icons and options you can, you can switch over to, to. To move around, use the the left and right arrows. So what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way over to this, this uh, volume with a music note next to it. And you're going to go over a couple times. And once you do that, you're going to see another bar of settings pop up. Now, the first thing you want, you're going to want to do to get up there is hit your up arrow. And that puts you up in the second row. And you're going to want to highlight that music note with one, two, and three. That is the number of tone breaks you can set. Now, right now, I'm in, I'm in number four, so I have four tone breaks set. And uh, if you want to decrease that, you just use your plus and minus buttons, which are also your up and down buttons. You can change it to one tone break, two tone breaks, four tone breaks, six, or 60. Now, for me, I like to hunt in four, but once you change it to four, now the question is, well, how do I change the volume of each tone break? Well, you have to go over one more one more slot on your on your uh, settings bar to this one over here, the music note with the volume icon next to it. So you're just going to use your left and right arrows, but this time we're going to arrow over to the right to get into that. But you don't see anything on the screen. It's kind of like, okay, now what? Well, you have to use your plus and minus buttons again. So when you hit the plus button, it's going to put you in your first tone break. And the way you know you're in your first tone break is there's a number one right here on the left-hand side. And it shows you what your tone break is. So it's 1 through 11, I believe, is what it's showing you. So right now on tone break 1, I have it set at 7. By default, it would have been 2. All right? For, for four tone breaks, it would have been 2. But I wanted, I wanted it to be louder, so I made it 7. Now, if you scroll, you have to use your right scroll button to get to the next tone break. So see, two is now highlighted. Here is your tone break. It's from like 11 to 20 or something like that. But it's at volume 10. And you can lower that if you want. 10 is the max. If you go over to your next tone break, which is three, it is also at 10 and four is at 10. So all I did was just change tone break number one to seven. They call it Z1, but um, I made it seven so I could hear the, t the iron tones. But by default, if I had left it two and got out of this, well, I wonder if it'll do it now. If I left it at two, see how quiet it is? You can barely hear it. But if I raise it up to seven, I want to hear that iron. Now I can hear it. All right. So that's really how you do it in a nutshell. It's pretty simple and pretty basic. The legend is very easy to navigate through, but there, you know, there is some things in here that just aren't really explained very well. So 
There is another section where you can change the, the um, I'm not going to do it today, but you can actually go in and change the frequency of the tones. Uh, so you can change, you know, how, how high the pitch and stuff goes on these tones. We'll do that in another video. I don't want to do too much in one video because it'll already run too long as it is. But um, yeah, there you go. So just remember to get out, you hit the settings button again. That puts you back in the very basic, uh, your, your display. Now remember, if you don't have your discrimination pattern set to all metal, by default, you're going to be in custom and all that iron stuff's going to be notched out and you won't hear it. Even, even when you have it in ground, it's going to notch out some of it. And for Ferris, it's going to notch out almost all of it again. So really, you're going to want to be in all metal mode when you do this, or you're going to have to fix your custom setting to allow it. But again, just real quickly, when you're in all metal mode, you want to hear the iron tones, hit your settings button. Make sure you are on this icon right here, which is your volume control. You're going to up arrow to get the second, the second line. You're going to scroll back to your, your, your tone break settings. That's your music note with the one, two, and three next to it. And this is where you're going to set your tone breaks. You can raise them up to, from one to two to four to six to 60. And you can set your tone breaks and what the volume is for each one. And to set the volume, you got to go back down over here to your menu, scroll over one more. Now you have to use your up arrow to get into the volume control. And then your tone breaks are going to be highlighted there. Tone break one, tone break two, three, four, and back to one again. And that's really all you do it. And to get out, you hit the settings button again one time, and now you're back to the beginning. I hope that video is useful for you. Like I said, if you're looking for this machine, Fort Bedford Metal Detectors has them. Give them a call. Give Keith, Keith a call. Tell them the Mental Metal Channel sent you over. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today. I hope this was useful. Leave me a comment. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell, them, tell me I'm doing something wrong. I'm just trying to give you guys some useful information to help get you up and running as fast as possible with the Legend. It's a great little machine for the price. You get a lot of features packed in it. And um, if you're looking for this machine, I would highly recommend it if it's in your budget. So, uh... That's it for me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another Mental Metal video.